Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of, uh, of Chemistry and of course I continue our study on amines. Uh, basically today I'm going to be looking at classification of amines. Okay, so what are the classes of amines that we have? All right, so this tutorial series is brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBT Practice app. All right, so please, uh, it is all you need to succeed in your exam. We'll talk about the app in a moment, but let us see a question from the application. This is a 1995 question, number 49. 1995, number 49. Okay, and it is uh, boldly written, being displayed on your screen right now. They said, an example of a secondary amine is, an example of a secondary amine is A, uh, propylene, B, dibutyl amine, C, methyl amine, D, trimethyl amine. All right, so we'll come back to this question and many more after we are done with the class because in all three schools, we believe in giving you value first. Make we first teach you, okay? Because if we don't teach you, answering question will become the least of your problem. So we want to teach you first and then we believe that what when it comes to answering question, it will be very easy for you. Know first, seek to know first and understand. Then you attack question and you see that jam is easy. All right? So please make sure you download the application. The app has all you need to succeed in your exam. Has all the past questions for your exam. Okay? For all subjects. All right? So you don't need to go and buy any past question outside then likewise there are what uh lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus for your study so you don't need to go buy any textbook then likewise there's question search feature like the way we got this question right now we use the question search feature we search for a means and all the question that has to do with a means came out and we picked a few that were going to work uh, answer at the end of this class then likewise there's a mock challenge on the application every saturday so every saturday all students that are writing jam for this year will compete on the application to win amazing prizes apart from winning prizes you get used to jam pass question jab likely exams exam questions as well as what you see your result release every saturday these are many more are uh, the wonderful features on the application so please uh, download and activate activation fee is not up to the price it's not up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant, all right? So uh, download the application. The app is available on uh, on Play Store for your Android phones and also available for your computer system or for your laptops. So if you want to download the application from your uh, on your laptop, simply visit o3schools.com slash jam app to download it, okay? Uh, let us go with classification of a means. So you can classify a means into one primary a means, Primary it means you want to call the one degree. Okay, it means then you have secondary it means this one is two degree it means then you now have tertiary it means. Okay, this is what the three degree what it means. All right, so please, these are what the classification of it means. We have the primary it means, we have the secondary it means, and we have the tertiary it means. So for any reason, if you have not liked this video, just know that you are very wicked. It's wickedness. Okay, as you are watching now, just click on that like button below the video and make sure you are sharing. Liking the video will make other students who are not aware of this channel to easily get access to our videos to learn and join. Okay, so please ensure you like the video right now and do not forget to click on share. Share first. And and come back and watch all right so please uh let's continue so we have primary it means we will have told you or i have actually told you from the last episode that what that an amine is formed when one of the hydrogen when one or more of the hydrogen atoms okay present in ammonia has been replaced either by an alkyl group or an aromatic water group okay so for primary it means when one of the hydrogen atom has been replaced okay by an alkyl group okay or an aromatic ring okay it's either what when one when one of the hydrogen atoms present so let's talk about what primary a means first when one of the hydrogen atoms present in ammonia this is our ammonia with our lone pair of electrons okay so when one of the hydrogen atoms present in ammonia has been replaced either by an archai chain or what an aromatic ring we call that what a primary amine we call it what a primary amine and you usually after we have replaced this we put what the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen the reason why we put this lone pair of electrons on this nitrogen is to show you that they are very very important 
they are responsible for the reactions that a means we undergo. Okay, they are responsible for the reaction that a means undergo. That is why what we want we add those, those long pair of electrons on top of what on top of the nitrogen. Okay, so now if one of the hydrogen atoms here has been replaced by an alkyl group, okay, for example, for by an R group, we call this one uh, a primary amine. It's a primary what amine because one of the alkyl, one of the hydrogen atoms present in the ammonia has been what replaced by an alkyl what group by an R group. Okay, and I said the reason why we put this what uh uh, lone pair of electrons is to signify the importance, okay, of the lone pairs because they are responsible for the reaction that a means on the go. Okay, so a simple example of uh, a primary amine will simply have been what now uh, methyl amine. Your methyl amine, okay, is what is an example of a primary amine. We we'll talk about. Uh, naming a means in the next episode, so there will not be any reason for book listing examples. So just know that what well, this is a primary amine. One of the hydrogen atom in the ammonia has been replaced by an R group. Okay, the R group could either be an alkyl group or what an aromatic ring. So take note of that. Then let's move to what to secondary amine. Secondary amines. Okay, secondary amines. Okay, so in secondary amines. All right, see, talking about ammonia now, we have our ammonia, all right, with our lone pair, our H, our H, H. For secondary amines, two, two of the hydrogen atoms present in ammonia has been replaced, okay, either by what, two R groups, okay? So those two R groups, now let's say we we'll take this uh, R, uh, this H and this H off, now I have an arrow group here, an arrow group here. These arrow groups may be the same. You can call this arrow one and arrow two. All right. These two arrow groups they may be, they may either be the same or what or different. So this is what a secondary amine. When two hydrogen atoms present in the ammonia has been replaced by two R groups or by two alkyl groups or, or what aromatic or rings. Okay. So that is what now. Uh, a secondary amine by two R groups. These R groups, as I'm showing here, I've told you they can be the same or they can be different. That is what a secondary amine is all about. Okay. So now let us look about talk about a tertiary amine. All right. So you, of course, from the word tertiary, it would have mean, meant what when uh, more than two. Okay. More than two is T3. So, but of course, we only have what three hydrogen atoms in an ammonia. So, if you have your ammonia like this with your two lone pair of electrons, your H, your H, okay. So, okay, with sorry, with your lone pair of electrons, not two lone pairs. So, okay, with your lone pair of electrons, okay. So, now if the all the hydrogen atom present in this ammonia has been replaced by R groups, then that will number give us what a tertiary amine or have a three degree what it means. Okay. So when all the hydrogen atoms present in ammonia has been replaced by what three arrow groups, okay, by arrow groups, then we'll call that what a tertiary amine. So that here will be an arrow group, here will be an arrow group, and here will be an arrow group. These arrow groups may be the same or maybe what? They may be different. Okay, so this is what a tertiary what a mean. So that is all that has to do with our classification of a means. Nothing more, nothing more than that. Okay, so let us go to the OT the School Jam CBT practice app and answer the questions that ensue as we have searched using the OT the School's uh, question search feature on the application. Now, this is 1995 question number 49. They say an example of secondary amine is a they say propyl propylene propylene i doubt that no so then b they say dibutyl amine dibutyl amine that we have what our nh all right they will now have what our butyl what amine butyl is what c4 h9 okay c4 what h9 H9, all right? So this is our dibutyl what amine. Then C is a methyl amine. That is CH3, NH2, okay? This is a what, uh, butyl what amine. This is, this is what methyl amine. This is dibutyl amine. Then this is a trimethyl amine. Trimethyl amine. Then we have what our N, okay? Then we now have what our methyl, CH3, CH3. Okay, CH3. All right. So they say which of the following is what is a secondary 
a mean. Okay, so from the simple uh, illustrations I've drawn on the board, it should be very, very obvious that what these are what our secondary what a mean because you can see the ammonia supposed to be NH3. Okay, but two of them, two arrow groups, have taken the H. The two H away, so I'll see for H nine here, C for H nine here. So that is why what that that will be our dibutyl what amine, and that will be our secondary amine, where two of the hydrogen atoms that are present in the ammonia have been replaced by what two alkyl or two R groups as we have it. Now let's go to the next question. Uh, it says, uh, twenty twenty three number twenty nine. Okay, they say which. Type of amines are derived from ammonia by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms with alkyl or aryl groups. Which of the which of which type of amines are derived from ammonia NH3 by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms with alkyl or aryl groups? A they say primary amines, B secondary amines, C tertiary amines, D continuary amines. Okay, I'm sure they meant one, not one or more. Okay. They meant one. Say that they are replaced with one, replaced with two, or two or more. Okay? So it cannot be one or more. All right? So there's no, there's no name that's assigned to one or more. So I think they actually meant what one. The examiner should have made a mistake there, or it's a typo. Okay? So correct answer there will be primary amine. When one of the hydrogen atoms has been replaced by what? By an archive or array group, that will be a primary amine. 2011, number 47, it says, which of the following is a primary amine? It's a primary amine. And if you look very closely, there, there's methyl amine there. So obviously, this methyl amine is that CH3, NH2. And we know that methyl amine is what's a primary amine. One of the hydrogen atom, only one of the hydrogen atom has been replaced by what? By an R group. That makes it what? A primary amine. So uh, in the next class, we're going to be looking at um, naming amines. How do we name amines? So that when we see amines, we're able to what? Able to what? To name them. Okay? So please stick with us. My name is Master T. I'm the Grand Commander of this OT Schools Army. All right? I employ you to keep studying and to keep reading. Download the application. Activate it for your own success. Thank you for watching.